Welcome back. It's time to take a look at what's trending on the web. So take a look at the sign that was posted at a middle school in Houston. It's since been removed because of the backlash that the school got for putting it up in the first place. Make sure to head to our Facebook page, leave a comment on this story here. It is our Texas Today Talker. We will share some of your comments coming up in the six o'clock hour of the show. But guys, what do you think about this? You know, when I first saw this on Twitter over the weekend, it was a head scratcher because I thought, you know, we were going back in time. It's kind of stereotypical in a way. Mm -hmm. And it's almost insinuating that, you know, that in order for gentlemen to behave in the proper way, you have to, you know, behave as quote unquote ladylike. And I think that that's just pretty an antiquated as a thought process and pretty outdated. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of the comments that I saw regarding this story said, what is this from the 1960s? It just really does set those types of roles that I think 2018 has broken. We no longer are seeing uh, these old traditional sayings and values. And a lot of teachers at the middle school did have a problem with it. You know, they, they spoke to local news as well in Houston and said, you know, we do have a problem with this. A lot of them remained anonymous, but the good news is they did replace the quote on the wall. It's a lot better. Okay. Uh, I have it right here. It says, do not wait for someone else to come and speak for you. It's you who can change the world. That's like very that. inspiring. That's much I like better. it a lot better, especially for middle schoolers. I was yeah. going to say, this is peak for their education. This is peak for their, their learning social skills this is yeah. really a peak age so setting that kind of standard on the wall is uh, not so great but that one that new quote much better much better yeah you have to keep them inspired right all right moving on Kanye West and his wifey Kim K attended two chains wedding over the weekend but it was Kanye's slippers everyone was talking about now your attention may go straight toward Kim K's lime green neon dress here but Check out Kanye's shoes. <laughs> a little, too, a little short. too small. <laughs> this is. Maybe this will become the new big thing. You never know. Kanye is a big, pretty big trendsetter, right? Yeah, but he's also trying to sell his product. He designed these uh, these slippers. I just easy slide ons. Yeah. I don't. I mean, at least make them a, your your actual size. Do we it's, expect anything less, though? I mean, they're always making a statement together, but these kind of look like toddler shoes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it looks like he. It looks like he. Yeah, he's he's threw on his. Uh, what's it? North. North, yeah, they have North. North little slippers to go to the wedding and forgot his other shoes. Maybe he had to throw <laughs> yeah, some on seriously. from the trunk. How about his, uh, let's not forget, the no shirt underneath the... Uh, yeah, that's the, something the, I'm going to start incorporating here say, in the show, yeah. You should try it out, see how it looks just, on there. Just the jacket. <laughs> Why? I don't know if you get good feedback about that one. No, well, yeah. remains to be seen. We'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, finally, a Minneapolis company is letting their employees get fraternity leave, which allows them to work from home when they get a new pet. Now, this is awesome because pets are part of the family. Mm -hmm. And if you bring a new pet into your home, it takes a lot of adjusting. It takes a lot yeah. of time to get used to the new surroundings. So to allow pet owners a little bit of time to, to hang out with their furry for a kiddo? Yeah, your fur babies have to warm up to your new home. You know, they're not used to it. Sometimes they have separation anxiety. Uh, my dog did when I brought him home from the Bell County Animal Shelter. It was so intense. He was just chewing up the corners of my coffee table. Oh, wow. But there is some things you can do. I've Googled this before and they said, you know, leave the house for five minutes, come back. Mm -hmm. You know, leave for a very short time and come back so they know, okay, this owner is going to come back and yeah. I trust you. You know, or, or this could backfire. I mean, w with my schedule, I spent so much time with Louie when, when I brought him home, and now he has uh, separation anxiety because of how much time we spent together. So maybe this fraternity might not be great. It's a great idea. Hmm. Don't you dare I'm talk down about it. the fraternity leave. That's an awesome idea. I'm all in on it. I and love I hope it. that, uh, you know, if I ever, ever get a new dog, that they allow me to anchor the news from home for a little bit. While I'm uh, while I'm adjusting, we'll check in with you and your in your PJs yeah. on your just, couch. Would it like, be another Pomeranian? You think? Of course, got to be a Pomeranian. Maybe <laughs> a Corgi, actually. Ooh. I love Corgi. Changing it up. Yeah. All right, Megan, what's coming up next in weather? Uh, it's a warm start to the morning. But